Hey everybody, welcome back to Miss C Can, and today we can play Niche. We're back again with the Bishop Tribe, and we have a bunch of pregnant bellies waiting to give birth on our lovely nests. We have over a hundred pieces of food of the of this abundant island, and we have a bunch of beautiful little button beautiful little nichelings hanging out everywhere on the Bishop's Island. So let's hang out over here, and we'll see if Odysseus and Athena have that that uh, Baryina snouted baby that I'm after. So, next day. Darn. And she's sick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Athena. We tested it. It didn't work well. And he can't sit next to his kid, so... And I think Odysseus is now learning the plight that his mother had when, uh... When she had to had to leave his, his older brother out, out in the cold. So we'll see how well she does. If they survive into adulthood, they get to stay, but they have to stay on the outside sides of, of the tribe. Echo, thank you. Echo and Sputnik... Echo and Sputnik could... Eh, why not? Okay. Hey! Oh my goodness, look at this little girl. The Missy. She's got B and H. But we lost we lost the Baryina face. She's got Baryina ears though, but because she has the derp snout, it's been overridden and we can't see it. So She's cool though. I like her stripes. So let's give her a nice name. We are going to call her. Let's call her Helen. We're gonna call her Helen. Her name is Helen. Helen. Hello, Helen. And she's a healthy little girl, and that's all I can be really be be happy with. So this side of the family might have failed getting in the, uh, getting that nose in the way I wanted it to, but that's okay. Not everything works out in the in the realm of niche. Kunu was born, and he is, I believe he's Daphne's child, yep. And he is the healthy son that Daphne never, never really got to raise. So, we're going to call him, doo -doo -doo. we're going to call him Loki. Hi Loki, what you up to? So, hey Loki, and Loki is the son of Tavon. A new male who wandered into the wandered into our family last episode. And Ra? Ra, can you and Tavon get together? Nope. That F will be the death of us. So many bunnies out today. Goodness. Cherry, you protect your berry bushes now. Okay. Looking good. And Hesonite's gonna come over here. Amber and Hesonite need new, new, Amber needs a mate. Let's see. H and A, H and G. Slay, slay the bunny. And K and H. And H and K. Ivy Berry's gonna need a berry to mate too. Hmm. Oh, wait! I didn't see the new baby. Let's see. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so we have a new little boy. H and K. Green eyes. And, uh, no spikes. His father is Kyanite. So that means. Oops. Whoa. 
Okay, no more babies for you. They said, we have enough of having babies. We're done. So, so, Ruduk Vaughn, your name is going to be... We're going to call him... Hmm. Let's call him Molly Garnett. Molly Garnett. Nice. Good. All right. Antari's okay. Being HAA. We're gonna try. All right. All right. Let's move on to the next day. And this little one has to move moved out. Meanwhile, Echo is ready to put down throw down a nest. So she will. Okay. And no more cubs over here. Nope. But plenty of bunnies. I'm gonna get that one. No more cubs from Freya. Okay. And Thisbe, Thisbe's going to chill out and she's just going to pick all this grass over here. Ra, nope. Family's big enough, we don't have to worry about that. Let's see, Loki. Loki, Loki doesn't have any, any defining skills that would put him into the hero side of the family. So he's going to have to wander over this way and find a new fate. Meanwhile, Cherry's gonna come over here and pick these bushes. Kuduk is gonna come over here and pick these bushes. And if he survives into adulthood, then he, oh, oh, hold on, hang on. The bird was just here. Well, there's one bird. Okay, well maybe, I thought, okay. I mean, I don't want to lose my little cubs, so that's not a bad thing for me, but I thought I heard it swoop down and get something. So maybe there was an, a wild cub wandering around? Maybe. We'll see. Well, actually, we won't see because it's dead, but still. <laughs> Alright, so let's have Tanzanite come on up and get the bunny. Alright. Looking good. Let Shea Berry come and pick it up. During this time of plenty, uh, let's see. Molly Garnett. We're just gonna call him Molly. And Molly is a good little boy. He's gonna stay close to his dad and his mother. And they will not be having any more cubs anytime soon. But Blackberry and Mistletoe might. Yeah, I think they will. Can't it can't hurt to have an extra extra pair of paws around to pick a berry bush or two. And Ivy Berry's cool. She's just gonna stay on over here. Oh poor Ivy, she has low fertility. We have to we have to make sure we have to check that out. Low fertility, the high fertility. If she has any cubs, we'll start throwing in some high fertility for her. Take care of these bunnies. All right. Has everybody made a move? Oh, hold on. The stone twin, the stone siblings up this way. Oh, we lost Eos. I'm sorry, Eos. All right. All right. Amber and Hessenite. 
they're just cool and I don't want to lose them. So H and A is what they have. So, let's see, H and A, H and K, H and G, nope, H and K, nope, nope, nope. How about you? K and G, H and A. Oh, well, she might be a good mate for Hesonite. And he has big ears. Okay. Well, let's let's throw Ivy Bay. Ivy Ivy Berry's gonna come up and visit Hesonite. Especially since she has uh, the nimble fingers, she can crack open nuts as well. And that's a good spot for her to be in. Um, meanwhile, Amber needs a mate. Any nice mates around here? Anybody not already taken? Not really. All right. Well, let's see what type of baby we get from here. Nuta. <sighs> Once again, we have the berry in a snout, but no. Hold on. I thought I heard. New gene has been unlocked. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You. What did we unlock? Hey! We un unlocked the berry in a snout. <laughs> How did we get that? Hmm. Well. Darn. Hang on. Berry in a snout. And bear. And she's good take this down. Now, I thought I heard a Baryuna wander into our camp. Yes, I was right. I did hear a Baryuna wander into our camp. Let's see. No cub. Just a Baryuna. You are feeling all types of, of righteous, aren't you? Uh-oh. We're gonna need some extra help. And I think these two just called out for help. And Lamar's gonna, Lamari's gonna, gonna run up this way. And he's going to do his best to get to them. And we're going to send Ivy. Ivy doesn't have a lot in the way of defense, but she will not just sit there and let her tribe members be hurt. Oh, here we go. Tavon. Okay. Look, he's gonna come over here and he's gonna sit next to Cherry. Alright. H and G. H and A. Mm. <sighs> well, we're gonna see how that rolls down. Oh! Oh my goodness! Finally! We ended up with a Baryuna snout. And she's got Baryuna hind legs. And she's a little girl. And she's cool looking. I like her. Alright. Looking good. Let's see. We're going to keep that in, and we're going to keep those claws in, and that's what you're going to be about. And she, she is going to be named, we're going to name her Paris. Hey Paris, welcome to the family. We've been trying really hard to get you in the family. So, Tari, you're going to throw in a Baryuna snout, and you're going to throw in some Baryuna claws. And Odysseus, you're going to throw in to the Baryuna snout, and you're going to throw in the Baryuna ears. Is that Baryuna ears? No, that's medium ears. Baryuna ears. All right, and we're going to try again. I think Tari is quite quite pleased, because she's always been very gentle and pushed to the side of the family and she's like okay it's fine and it's not been okay but you know sometimes you just gotta wait your turn let's see all right
right? We're at 125 food. This bee is about to pass away. Hmm. Scratch up that nest. More berries this way. That's great. Alright. And ra. I think Ra's going to come over and she is, uh, Ra's going to work her way over this way because we have a big battle over here that we need to take care of. All right. And, oh, we have another baby. Hang on. Kois. Hey, Kois. I think with this side of the family is going to work with, uh, horns and, and, uh, Maybe, 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 maybe. Let's go with the cracker jaw. Yeah. Actually, Koi, so how do you do? She's got velvet paw. Ah! Oh, Kyanite. Alright. Hang on. Hang on. Alright, yay, no baby. Good, because they would have had an unhealthy kid, and that's not what I want. Alright. And let's see. Ah. Oh. oh no. Hessa. You're okay, buddy. Let's see, where's that tree at? It's over here. Alright. Ivy Bear, you're running up this way. up to <laughs> oh Loki okay Loki can't can't really attack anything but he tries and I think I think it's it, it just everybody thinks that's really cute like oh no no yeah we're gonna take this down and run 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 well <sighs> That's not gonna be your name, buddy. We're gonna call you. Um. Hmm. Let's call Marys. So finally, after all that trying, we ended up with Paris, which is really cool because I enjoy I enjoy the way she looks. Paris is. I think Paris is actually uber strong. Yes, she is. Paris is really strong, um, and she has high fertility, so she is going to be the mother of this tribe, of the strength tribe, um, and that's what, that's exactly what they're going to do. Mira, you have to come down into the swamp. All right. Nuta, you need a new name. I'm running out of names. Uh, let's call him Pegasus. Okay. And then we're going to call this one. Her name is going to be... Uh, I'm starting to reuse names. Let's call, let's call her uh, Megara. Megara, awesome. Looking good. Mm-hmm. 
Oh my. And uh, Fisbee has found a very infected area. Oh. Bugs everywhere. Wow. Alright. Jasper 2. Jasper 2 and Freya are, are going to call their young call their young daughter away from that. They're like, no. And they're just gonna destroy things as they go. Okay. Let's see. And Helen is here. No, that wasn't Helen. Where did Helen go? That's okay, we'll find her later. Amber is up over this way. We're gonna move her out. And we need some muscle. We need some good muscle. So we're gonna send Mari. La Larry Mar. Larry Mar. Sorry, Larry Mar. Um, up over this way. Okay. Looking good. And these two can't. Nope. Not going to. So. Good. Okay. And we already named little Kois. No, we didn't name Kois. Kois, you need a name. Hang on. So much was happening, I forgot to name people. Let's call her Baneberry. Ooh, that sounds like a rough name. But she doesn't really have what we look for with the berry tribe. She doesn't have the berry picking. She doesn't have the nimble fingers. Uh, she doesn't. She doesn't even have a a cracker jaw. So. Bane berry, something a little rougher. Sounds sounds like it would fit her perfectly. And mistletoe is tickled by everything. Let's see, moving on. We have blackberry over here. Can they pick? Nope. Nope. Don't pick from those. And Molly and his mother. Okay. And I think that'll do. All right, the Bishop tribe has been through a lot and right now we've, we're bigger than we've ever been. What about you, Athena? F and A. Just clearing out the area. All right, we're bigger, the Bishop tribe is bigger than it's ever been and we, ha we are in a time of plenty. We finally, finally getting over all that damage that was done, and and able to just relax and all and enjoy the splendor of it. So I think what we're gonna do is just chill and have babies and and very just very slowly inch our way up this way towards the jungle and see who we're gonna take with us because we can only take one, two, three, four, five. We can only take five nichelings with us, so we can only bring the best of the best. So now is the time to start building the best of the best, and who's going to represent what part of the family. Alright guys, I'm Miss C, and I will see you later. Bye!